If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $7 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. What's up guys, before this video starts, be sure to follow us on all platforms, including on Rumble, which you can find in the pinned comment. Um, this platform has been giving a lot of people like us a lot of problems lately, and <clears throat> Rumble is a lot more receptive um, to free speech and whatnot. So be sure to follow us on Rumble. Um, any video on here, you can also find on Rumble. And if you're looking for a video and can't find it on here, it'll be on our Rumble. So be sure to follow us on Rumble in the pinned comment like the video. What's up guys? A lot of you guys may know about the Gordon Flowers hoodie. However, we also have a fried pickles hoodie as you can see right here. And Gordon Flowers sweatshirts that you can get in many, many different colors. Show your support for the Gordon Flowers movement and the PP movement by getting one of these. I can tell you they are very, very comfortable. Like in all seriousness, they are. And I actually do wear them. So uh, be sure to get one of these and enjoy the video. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing an educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional, or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. God damn, you think after this cat and mouse game we played, I'd, I'd just only care about the what? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I, I have no idea why, but I just thought you were here to show me papers. I didn't know why else someone yeah. would be doing that. For sure. Just be at that distance, yeah. I'll just stand you know, over don't even worry about them. Um, okay. So, yeah. So what, what, what are you kind of looking for on there specifically, if anything? Young girls. Young girls. Boys at all? Okay. I'm, I'm only asking. I'm not, obviously, I know you're not like, you know, full on that other way because you obviously have wife and kids or girlfriend, wife, whatever. May as well be a parent. Okay. Yeah, I'm just asking because, you know, there's quite a few on those groups that are just fully just like anything little. They're just like, it's like, all right, cool. Well, not really cool, but interesting. Um, Okay. Any what age range is kind of your thing when you look at that stuff? 13, 14. 13, 14. Got it. Um, what type of videos? Just uh, just like dance and take clothes off. Okay. So strip strip videos. Okay. Um. And also another reason I'm here, uh, so we can kind of figure out what truly, who's making these groups. I don't think it's you, who's 
taking these pictures because you know it's a step up from you know I don't I don't care about the the guy who's at home just looking for something to get off to everybody does that you know who doesn't watch you know the people that don't watch are just liars and um, the people who do watch it or say they do they're just you know truth tellers so mm -hmm. um, okay so 13 14 is kind of your preference in a way with that fair enough um, are the Sorry, I just clicked. <laughs> God, therapy session. Yeah, no kidding. Um, is that, is, that's told my freaking stepsister was. Say again? That's what my stepsister was. Oh. So that's what clicked for you just now. Okay. How often in these groups, or I guess a better question is, have they ever put in these groups like any of adult and a girl? Mm -hmm. Okay. How often? Do they, would they put that stuff? Not nearly as often. As what? One out of 10. One out of 10, okay. So you, your thing is 13, 14. Um, how big are these groups? Like how many people, on average, I know there's a few that you're in, but how many on average? Honestly, I'm not sure, but I would say the tens of thousands. Tens of thousands in one group? Honestly, I that doesn't just throw that number out there. But. No, no, but I mean like, you know, surely there's been a time you click on the group members and you see like something out of this many. Like, I mean, have you seen tens of thousands in a group? I have paid attention to the members. Okay. How busy are the groups? Like, how often are people con conversing with each other or throwing stuff in there or whatever? They talk a lot. Okay. Do these notifications go to your phone? I have them on silent or turned off. Okay. Is there like a secret phone use for this stuff or is it just, just okay? You, have you ever thought like, what if somebody finds this or? Honestly, yeah. I know this doesn't make it right, but kind of my logic here was, you know, it's, I just, there are videos on this group bot that I found, you know, and. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, just fully curious, how big is you, your savings that you have? Not money, but from the groups, like how how much have you quote unquote collected in your on your phone, like gallery? Zero. Zero, okay. How long have you had WhatsApp and Telegram and uh, Signal for? I have WhatsApp for probably about three months. Okay. I've had Telegram for a while, but I just have 18 plus on there. Okay. And Who, Signal, I never got anything on there. Well, there's a group on Signal you're in called or something like that. Okay, maybe I did get it. Okay. How many groups on WhatsApp? Um, two or three. Two or three. Is that uh, right now, or I'm asking like in total, how many do you think? have been uh, on your WhatsApp thing? How many groups? Uh, four, maybe five. Okay. And they're all just CP related. That's fair. Um, is there like a certain race that you see more than others? Not that it matters, but is there a certain race that they're posting in there more than others? Mostly Asians and most like Indians possibly. Asians, uh, Indians. I don't know their race, but. Got it. Um, what language are the groups in? Like the title of them? Most of it's Spanish, I think, and then I don't know any of the other ones I've seen. Got it. Spanish, okay. And this is me asking about, because the one thing I do want to tell you is, uh, yeah, you're caught, but, you know, this is absolutely your chance to kind of turn this around and tell me about, you know, because, again, the person who went through trauma at a young age, you know, it's sad, it is what it is. I understand like kind of coming back to that, but I'm concerned about the people who are just out there to hurt people and that's not you. But I know the people that are out there to hurt people are probably <laughs> into a little bit younger than 13 and 14. That's just my guess. So is, what are the age ranges that they've been putting in these groups? Disgustingly small. Okay, like what are we talking? Toddler. Toddler. Maybe a little older. 
Okay. Got it. No, no worries. I know I'm not here to judge you. Like, you know, if that's a... Uh, you know, somebody's asking me about Houston, um, and I'm like, well, there's some, uh, there's a drug dealer who's my neighbor. That doesn't make me a drug dealer. You know, that's not my thing. Just, you know, I'm just in it, right? Mm -hmm. So, toddlers. Are these, like, uh, what kind of stuff of toddlers are they posting in there? Them, pretty much everything we've discussed. Like videos? Okay. Just... I hate to ask you to relive this, but walk me through a toddler video that somebody's posted in there. I haven't really watched any. Okay. Haven't really watched any? What does that mean? I mean, some were just close-ups and I don't realize, and then I do, I'm like, okay, no, like. Okay. I, I know, I don't believe it, but there's still a line that I can't cross. No, I, I do, I do believe you, I do, but. <clears throat> Just because I don't think you like something doesn't mean that I don't think maybe you kind of know what's happening in there. You know, I, for one, don't like the taste of pork or pepperoni. Doesn't mean I haven't tried it before. Doesn't mean that I haven't ate it on an accident. I was at a saltgrass steakhouse the other day with the family, and I don't even know if they have it in Nebraska. This is back in Texas. And, you know, I got some ribs thinking they were beef. I take a bite of it, and I'm like, uh, the waitress, I'm like, what, what, what is this? She's like, it's pork. Hey, I don't know what it was before going into it. That's what I'm asking. So you see a close-up of a toddler. What happens next? I go out of the video. You got out of the video? Okay. Anything with, like, infants posted in these groups? None that I can recall. Okay. If you can remember, what's the facial expression of the toddler? Like, is this a sack they're doing, or...? Sometimes. You can obviously tell that they've been told what to do, and mm -hmm. then sometimes they obviously don't want to do it. It's don't want to do what? Like, person? Like, just asking, like... Like, the father's act. Okay, so there's a toddler doing, like, a father's act in one of these... Okay. How long was that video? I don't know. Like, okay. Saw that next time. Got you. So this was, is this the thumbnail of the video or is it something else that was a thumbnail? Most of the thumbnails. That was the thumbnail of the, the toddler. The, so the toddler was in the thumbnail? Yeah. Okay. I'm just curious, why'd you click on it? I didn't click on that one. Okay. You just saw what it was? Yeah. Okay. But like the close up ones, I didn't click on it and then. And what happens next in the close up ones? When you do click on it, like the few seconds you're in there, what happens? Well, they zoom out and then I, it's more obvious. <clears throat> okay, I see. Are. Got it. So, at, what would you say the youngest age that um, you've actually watched, maybe out of curiosity, to get off, whatever? What would you say the youngest age is, like truly? That? Honestly, it's probably a toddler. You watched it get off on it once? Yeah. Okay. See how you just said that? And I'm not, and <laughs> I'm not like, I, no, I mean, if you get, if you actually be honest here, I'm, I'm happy you're here because I, I would love some help. Hey, man. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay, what happens in that toddler video? He, uh, on her. Is that the whole video or is that the end of the video? They're not very long videos. Okay, so how long was that one, do you think? Probably 30, 40 seconds. Okay, so was he on her the whole time or was there more stuff happening? Spreading it around. So just like a fire hose, pretty much. All right. How old do you think that toddler was? Four. Okay. And are you sure? I mean, there's been no infants or anything like that? I mean, there may have been one Okay. that I tried get off on just I don't know and uh, that was only one of those few other ones I tried but the few uh, of them you tried on okay no. right right because you know it's like we're playing cards against humanity here but I can see that because a toddler's actually can walk and you know an infant's like a 
it's like a cocoon, man. You know, I, I, t I totally get it. It's not even a human. At well, it's definitely a human, but it's not like a, you know, it doesn't look like the same as me or you, you know, but okay. Let's just wait for it. What was happening in that infant video? Honestly, that was a long time ago. How long ago was this? Um, maybe a year or so ago on the Darknet. Darknet? Okay. So. I've dabbled here or there. Yeah, fair enough. Was this phone or computer? Phone. Okay. How do you get on the darknet on the phone? The tour browser. No, but like they, you can get the tour on the phone? Yeah. Didn't know that. Got it, got it. Huh, okay. So I guess a better question is because, you know, if I'm asking about WhatsApp, Telegram, Sorry, I didn't even think to mention that. Right, right. No, I I'm fully understand. Honest, yeah, because yeah, my, my, my question was too pointed. Because, um, you know, you could tell me that you've been on Telegram for two days um, with actually being on Telegram. I know you've been on there longer, but you can tell me you've been on Telegram for two days, but, you know, the issues started, t could start 10 years ago, you know? You know so I'm, I'm sorry about that. When's the first time that you kind of dabble in child in general? Four or five years ago. Okay. Final answer? Honestly, that's just a guess. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, would that be, be a... Longer. Do you think that'd be an accurate ballpark? Well, I think of the year, sir. Sure. Yeah. Probably like 8 to 10. Eight to ten. Eight to ten years ago? Yeah. Okay. So that was before Telegram, I think before WhatsApp. Where was that on? Darknet. Darknet. Okay. So what prompted you to kind of go on the Darknet? Like, what what was your thought process at the time? I'm going to go on the Darknet. Like, what, walk me through it if you can. Just going through stuff with life. Okay. Got tired of this regular stuff and sure dark thoughts took over I'm like hey let's go. I heard about this on the dark net let's go so did you have the dark net before you looked at child the dark net or did you get the dark net to look at child to look at okay interesting so you've been with your wifey for how many years now ten ten got it so how'd y'all meet high school uh, in Texas no, we were both we were both from here. Oh, okay. Did you go to school in Texas at all? No. Okay. What brought you down to Texas? I have family moved down there. Okay. What part of Austin? Just curious. Uh, Pflugerville. Pflugerville. Yeah, I know where that's at. Uh, it's close enough to Austin to still uh, have some fun stuff to do, but far enough to be uh, not <laughs> like Austin is. <laughs> that's a that's a great place. You know where uh, Hutto is? Hutto. Yeah. Yeah. My grandma was there. Oh, still? Yep. Nice. Go to visit her often? If I could afford to. <laughs> you don't you don't got a good job too much? I mean I got a raise recently and I thought I'd be doing better, but <laughs> the bills say otherwise. Oh well yeah. Uh, oh just curious, like how much are the like what do you do for work, I guess? I'm a truck driver. Truck driver. Like box truck or eighteen wheeler? Eighteen wheeler. Oh. So you're not at home all the time. But it's a local job. You eighteen wheelers do locally? You just go around Nebraska or just Grand Island? Just around, uh, like the furthest we go is Burwell, Broken Bow, Oconto. Go to Omaha at all? To pick up some oil sometimes. All right. How long have you been truck driving for? Four months, maybe. Got it. Yeah, because you got like the... I was confused on your job because you got like the uh, you got like the hair and face of like a metrosexual Austinite, but then you got the body of a truck driver. <laughs> so like, I got the body of a truck driver too because you know I drove my ass from Houston to here, so it's bound to happen. But yeah, tr trucker truckers look like offensive linemen minus the testosterone, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Same here, dude. I'm fat and sick of this. Shit. Gotta go to the gym together or something. Um, 
Okay, anyway, so the dark net. What did you search up on the dark net? Like, you just... Okay. Were you expecting to find the young stuff? More than likely. Okay. What were you hoping to find with the young stuff? Like, what, if, I know it's eight to 10 years ago, if an exact answer I'm not expecting, but what were you hoping to find? Like, I'm looking for this, what am I hoping to find? Naked pictures. Okay, of younger stuff? Okay. When did the first video kind of come across you? Honestly, I'm not sure, but longer ago, but I'm not exactly sure on how many years. Okay. When's the, when's the last time one came across you? I think it's been... I don't, I don't think I've seen any on WhatsApp. Okay. I don't think, I mean, they have some young ones on there, but I don't think I've seen any infants. Sure. On, tele on Telegram, has there ever been any CP you've seen on there? No, just maybe a thumbnail or two on the spam whatever invite. Right, right, right. Got you. Okay. Um, when's the last time you've been on the dark net? Eight. Months a year. Eight months a year ago. Okay. Did it happen on like is the computer you're using or your phone? My phone. Okay. How long have you had this phone for? We're on two years. Okay. So we're probably pretty contaminated on there. Okay. <clears throat> um, so the way WhatsApp and Telegram and Signal and all these apps work. I've heard that they auto download to your phone um, when images are sent. How true is that? It is. Okay. You have to turn it off. Okay. At what point did you turn it off? As soon as I realized what it was doing. Okay. How long? How many images and videos did it take for you to realize? Two or three. Two or three. Okay. So it was going. Was it going to like a hidden folder or a gallery? Gallery. Gallery. Okay. <clears throat> Since then, uh, has there been anything saved on your gallery? Okay. Turn off the autosave. Okay, so if I were to, so if I were to actually join one of these groups to take some names, I'd have to turn off auto download settings. What else would I have to turn off that you know of? Nothing. Okay. Just so auto download. Got it. Apparently, I didn't know enough. <laughs> well. Okay. What did you delete from your phone when I was at the car? I didn't delete okay. anything. I was going to. I was just going to go delete WhatsApp. Oh, okay. I was like, dude, like, I, I, like, I want to get the groups. So, you know, I, I got to yeah, make I'm this sorry. productive for me, I, too. You know, I didn't know how honest you're being and how truthful everything's going to be. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, if it means anything to you, um, you know, I threw a fit in the car after y'all didn't answer the first time. I'm like, dude, this I came all the way here for Houston as and I was just thinking like you know I'm gonna wait on it I want to go have some hibachi with from some Japanese people had the exact same hairstyle as you just uh you know and uh it was great it was great it calmed me down a little bit like I you know I don't get too mad at stuff um you know but I get pretty mad if I were to drive 18 hours and you know yeah, I'm sorry about that. oh you're, you're good dog you're good I understand you see like a six foot four guy just banging on your door <laughs> <laughs> like I, I totally get it just curious, what did you, uh, what did you, and your, what did you tell your wife inside the house? Like, what, like, what did you tell her? Like, when I was knocking on the door, I thought I was getting served. <laughs> what do you think you'd be getting served for? Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, you just thought it was some. Okay. Oh God, I didn't even have, I didn't even have breakfast or lunch. I just had like a, I guess an early dinner. I guess you could say. Uh, can you can you see if the, you know that gas station has the fried pickles? Can you go see, just call them? It's that B and, what's the one, what's it called? The B and, it's the blue gas, the blue and yellow gas station. Bope Say again. Bope Bope How do you say it? The B word? Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
pump and pantry. What's the closest one to here? All right, that's fine. Yeah, just Google map the closest pump and pantry. See if they have fried pickles and yeah. I love that. I was, I was here like, not on Grand Island, but I was here in Nebraska just doing the 80 like a year or so ago. And is that, that is a blue one, right? The pump and pantry? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, you got fried pickles at this gas station? Uh, did you even know they had fried pickles? I didn't know. Dude, they got fried pickles at that gas station. And I'm like, damn, I, got, I thought I got to go. I thought I got to, I thought I got to go to Texas Roadhouse for that. But I was like, God damn, fried pickles at this gas station? That almost makes me want to fully move to Nebraska. Almost. Uh, the weather would more, but. Uh, but yeah, man, um, okay. I, I appreciate how honest you've been. So another thing I kind of want to delve into is, you know, miners communicating with you online. Tell me about that. I have I haven't had any minor communication that I'm aware of. Really? They had random life messages like hi or hello or something, but that's not as like, oh, okay, random bot or something. Okay. So your, in, your infidelity is more of like a addiction rather than a talking to other people thing? Okay. Have you ever, just in general with maybe even an adult, have you ever communicated with an adult online sexually that wasn't your wife or? Not that I hear at all. Okay, okay. I mean, I know I've thought about it, but not, not that I can recall actually doing it. Okay. No, that part, I don't know. I'm just asking. Um, God, how, how's y'all's marriage in general? How's the health of it? I mean, everything's good. Cool. How many kids do y'all have now? Two. Two. Two sons? Yep. Nice. Have you ever had a... A situation where there's been somebody younger in in person, just maybe before your wife, some st touching happened. Yeah. No. Okay. Have any thoughts about that? Any thoughts? Like any in thoughts person? about? Yeah. No. Okay. So just online, out an outlet in a way. Okay. Got it. So, is do you have any tips on how I can quote unquote catch people on the dark net? Honestly, I don't have anything I can think of on the top of my head, but I would love to, you know, think about that and get yeah. some information for you. Okay. Got it. I mean, were there forums that you were on on the dark web or anything like that? No. So, Not that I can so, so you said you were on there like a year ago, whatever, a couple months. I don't know. I don't care. Um, walk me through what you searched up on the dark web. Like, you're on the Tor browser. What comes next? Oh, I had one or two pages bookmarked. Okay. Yeah, that, that's all I remember because of all the weird freaking onion things. Yeah. What, what were on these pages? Okay. Uh, how young was it going? I won't say toddler, but maybe a little older than that. Okay. So, an in, in infant video, I know it's hard to talk about, but like I said, uh, we're, we're both used to, um, we're both used to this discussion in different ways, I'm sure. Um, walk me through what happens in one of these videos that you saw of an infant. Just... Uh, it usually it's just above them. Okay, does it go on to them? Yeah. Okay. So you said usually. So is there any videos of infants that are like penetrative in a way? No. No. Okay. Any like with that? Okay. So sad to think about, isn't it? It's tough. So have you told your wife at all? There's kind of some kind of like issue at all? Like any any hint of it? I don't think she knows. Okay. I'm not saying I'm gonna go tell her, but how do you think she'd react if she found out? Honestly, I don't know, but you said you could help me over there. I was starting to almost cry because I was so happy that I saw that you can help me. I think that. I, think I, went, so. I was thinking about going to tell her, and I was just getting it off my chest. Yeah, because I'm, I'm sure, and I'm, I'm sure, um, you know, this is just how I'm guessing. I'm, I'm sure that you know, if you have this dark secret for ten years or even more, that 
you know, when it's finally found out, it's probably going to be terrible. But, you know. But, but you, you know, I'm, I'm sure it was kind of a relief to you that, you know, when your secrets, in a, in a way, kind of unveil that it's not the end of the world, man. So, you know, that's obviously... Like I said, if this was a 40-year thing, um, like if you were 58, it'd be like, eh, well, eh, it's past the point of no return, I think. But, you know, you should be happy that this is getting addressed now, you know? Yeah. So. Honestly, I've, I've tried to find therapists and stuff to take me back to my childhood and everything, but I couldn't find anyone good and I can't afford to keep looking. And... Does your uh, company not pay for insurance? Yeah, but I have the high deductible. And they only give you like five free visits and the place they, they go to, they'll help people. Is that here in Grand Island? Yeah. Okay. How are they shady? No, not shady, just shady. Oh, oh, how are they bad? Like they just don't really understand it? They make you walk yourself through everything and I need the opposite. I need you to help me go back and like relive through everything and get all the trauma and everything out in the open and address everything. Does your wife know that happened to you when you were a kid? I haven't told, I told it. I, you're the first person I've told her. Really? Damn, so the guy who you blocked, whose cell phone number you blocked, who's banging on your door is the first person you're telling about this. Jeez, I'd say, God damn, I, I don't know, man. This this judge, mean, judgment throwing me off. And if you're yeah. being honest here, this, this is awesome. Yeah, absolutely, man, 100%. So, so how about um, people on WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever, how about them sending you stuff individually? Like, you know, Fernando from God knows where sends you something. How often has something like that happened? No, I think there's some people uh, for like trade or videos or pics for trade or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Have they hit you up asking for that? Once or twice. Okay, what happened next? Nothing. It was just I didn't respond, just like the bot, what I thought were bots or whatever they were. Oh, okay. What app did this happen on? What's that? Okay. Um, any groups where um, they had you or they made you kind of contribute in a way? Like put some stuff in yourself? There's been a few like that. Okay. This has been stuff that I <clears throat> found here and copy and pasted here. Okay. So you find not that that makes it any better, but you know. Yeah, no, I, I hear you though. So, so you find it in one group, and then you paste it into another group. Okay, what compelled you to do that? Just new group. New group. Do they do they ask you to put stuff in that group? So. Okay. Some of them. You say some of these groups do this. Some of this. So how many groups is it really? It seems like more than four and five. Um, well, sorry, when I say some, it's just like one or two, and then you know the other one or two, whatever they are. Okay. So how do they ask you to put stuff in the group? Like, what, like you join the group, what do they say to you? And these are all groups that I haven't, or I left because of this reason, but. Sure. Like they say in order to view anything, you have to post something. Okay. So you've obliged by that how many times? Once. Once. Okay. Do you remember what you posted? Just some CP? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. You want water? I'm gonna get water. Okay. Hey, uh, Caden. Um, to actually, do you have a pen and paper? Actually, let me get my phone, I'm sorry.
God damn, man. You see how much I text you? I look like an angry ex. Okay. Uh. I was in there looking up if servers can uh, serve you over the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so why'd you close the door on me again when I actually answered? Or when you actually answered, why'd you close the door on me? Like, like you actually, like you came outside, I'm like, Kaden, I have nothing. And then you close the door again, you're like, bye, why? I was, I was putting something away. Oh, okay. Okay, without you pulling out your phone and actually looking at it, because, you know, we don't want to... We don't want to actually, like, you know, do something on camera that entails that. Um, can you can you write down the name of the groups that you can remember? Like, take one you looked at today, for example, or whatever. Just label it by the apps, like Signal, WhatsApp. That's only two I remember. I know the other one's similar, maybe. Okay. It's WhatsApp. These are WhatsApp, okay. So how'd you find out about both those groups? The first one was a Facebook invite. Okay. And uh, the other one was from WhatsApp. Got it. Who's inviting you on Facebook? I saw someone comment the uh, join link. Mm. So what kind of Facebook pages are these that they're posting these links on? Uh, pictures of younger girls. Okay. Any nudes on Facebook? No. Okay. So how long ago, like, or, like okay, I guess the question is, because I haven't really, uh, you know, you're not the first person I've talked to about this stuff, but... You know, you're the most honest, and I think you're the one that actually wants to figure this out rather than, yeah, okay, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know who Philip Solo TV is? So? Philip Solo TV. I don't think so. Uh, it's just, I'm just so shocked that I'm uh, talking to a celebrity here. But um, you really don't know who that is? Okay, I'm going to blow your mind right now. I'm, li I'm literally gonna. <laughs> it's a carbon copy. It's literally your twin. God, I used to watch them all the time in high school. Um, anyway, so a. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so a Facebook invite. So what, what did you look up on Facebook to even come across these pictures? Just. They started popping up. Okay. I'm not sure what my phone heard or said or what happened, but it started popping up. Okay. So it was by accident on Facebook? Yeah. But surely the first picture that pops up can be a WhatsApp group invite. What happens next? Like when you see a picture like that? Like these. Click One of the more skimpily pictures. Let's look at the comments and see what they're saying. Got it. This was all on your phone. Yeah. <clears throat> so you have a face. You what's your Facebook account? Because I, I was trying to look up Caden at Grand Island. I couldn't find it. Okay. I'm like a Batman villain. Well, are, you, are we looking up? I looked up. Maybe it's because I have a private owner. Uh, some German name or something? I don't know. <laughs> Just asking. <laughs> German name. You don't know your own ancestry? Oh, it's probably my dad's side. Oh, yeah, I already asked. Okay, it's your mom's last name. Do you know her ancestry or at all? Or? No, not really. No? Okay. <clears throat> Got it. So... 
Facebook, are these Facebook like posts or, or there, are there like chat groups on Facebook too? Just posts. Posts. Okay. So I, a common theme I'm noticing, not just you, but just in general is like a lot of this Spanish stuff, like Spanish stuff of young girl, like, uh, is that, do you think that's, is that the most prevalent that you're seeing? Yeah. Okay. Do, why do you think that is? I have no idea. Okay. Any stuff with like Russian? Not that I recall. There's been some, it's mostly like Spanish or Indian, <clears throat> some Asian. But. Okay. And what would you say um, the longest CP video you've ever viewed? How long was that? 11, 12 minutes. Okay. Was it, what, what platform was this on? What's that? Okay. What was the age of the girl? Probably 13, 12. Okay. Was there a guy in the video too, or? No. What was she doing in it? She was just doing a bunch of different poses and spreads. Was she talking to the camera at all, or? Not really. She was making sound, but not talking to the camera. Got it. What language you typically hear in these videos when they are talking? I actually listen, it's the English, but. English? That's not very, there's like one, maybe two. What are they saying? It's just girls talking in English. Interesting. What are they talking about? Just random, just like giggles and. Got it. Interesting. Okay. So, what would you say the most? Co so you said the most common video on WhatsApp is probably like, just posing and like that, or like just solo stuff. Maybe half. What do you, like half videos, half posing? Yeah. Okay. So why did you say why did you say it was only a tenth earlier? I thought that was about the tenth is half. Infant. Oh, wait, oh, a tenth of his infant stuff. I'm lost with these numbers, man. Yeah, yeah. Truck driver, not a mathematician. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. So, what would you say is a. Okay, so what percentage would you say are videos on WhatsApp versus just. Okay, okay. I was going to say, what do you clarify? Video? Okay, like <clears throat> a video of a sexual act happening. Like penetration or just the guy in general in guy in general probably in 95 percent of the okay are there any where it's like an underage girl and an underage boy you see in maybe one percent okay are there any that they post with just underage boys here and there okay What's, do you know what's happening in those? No. Okay. Do you know what group had, do you know what group, if any, had the toddlers in there out of these two? Probably both. Both? They're both pretty similar. Or do you notice this kind of the same people in each of these groups? Once in a while. You mean, what do you mean people? Like the people- Oh, like same, same videos in each group too? Yeah, same video, yeah. Okay. What about people? Like, is there any people that, that could be American that you see that are like, okay, this guy is posting a lot in here. Like I noticed this guy kind of everywhere. Do you know anybody like that? Not know personally or know online, but do you, have you seen anybody like that? Not that I've noticed, but I haven't really look, looked at any of the records names or anything of who's posting the stuff. Okay. Because the videos are just all popped up, and then the members' names are small and crap. I don't even pay attention to it. Okay. Yeah, because if you don't mind, um, <clears throat> in a few minutes, and uh, in a few minutes, I would want to go through some of these names. So on WhatsApp, what is it? Does it display phone numbers on WhatsApp? Maybe. If you click on them or something, you like to look at them. Okay. Because that's kind of how we found you. You're just on a list on Signal and, you know, basically we can just see who's on the group. We just kind of, we saw a 308. I'm like, Nebraska. All right. So anyway, um, so let's pull out your phone. Let's kind of get, get some names, take some names if you don't mind. 
of people. Yeah. Members? If you don't, yeah. So, how we're gonna do that, if you don't mind, oh, is. Sorry, sorry. I, oh yeah, yeah. No. Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, how we're gonna do that is. So first, you put your phone in airplane mode. And do you have those dark web bookmarks still on there? I don't have that on here anymore. Okay. Put in airplane mode. And. Okay, mind if I come over this way? So, but, oh, someone probably called. You're gonna give me help, man. Yeah. H how's it going, sir? Good. What's going on? Basically, um, we're just having a talk here, and there's some child groups that on your phone that you got to get rid of, right? Pretty much. Okay. And and you know he's been so honest with the info, but they're posting like stuff like toddlers. In there that's really really bad in these in, in these groups aren't they yes okay okay what's your name sir okay okay you got stuff on your phone is that my understanding it's been getting sent to him on his phone is that pretty much it the deal yeah okay okay um we have a talk can you and i have a conversation yeah okay um i don't know where all of this is going right uh, I'm going to advise you of your rights before I have any more conversations, all right? Okay, the right to remain silent. The can say can be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and to have one present with you while making, while you're being questioned. If you have the right to, a, if you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning if you wish. You can decide to answer questions. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand the rights of the right user. Okay. So, just got here. <coughs> got some questions about child. All right. You have. Uh, did you say that you you have a problem with it? Okay. Um. I, that's fine. Uh, you do have a cell phone that I'm gonna see. So, okay. So, in it over. At least Grand Island. It's an airplane mode already. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna have you have a seat for now. Come over here and have a seat on the curb with Officer Martinez. What? I guess, can I speak with you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Over here. Here, I'll take my mic, I'll take my mic off. Here, let me just go with you. Oh. Hey, stream, find, find incriminating parts. There should be a lot of them, but um, just so I can show, show them. Okay. My mic was good, right, for her? Okay, great. All right, now we're gonna talk to you. This is kind of your show, sir. Is this your group that was up there? Okay, yeah. Oh, bad. What's that officer's name? She can my name, bro. So, you know, that so was a little bit different than that. So, Anthony, you actually weren't eating the only thing. I think just sitting around with the best thing they did. Well, they were
If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $7 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals.